Yo, one other question. Um, I, I, I got to get your thoughts on Mayweather versus McGregor. Okay, you know, it's a fight that a real boxing fan knows that. How can a fighter, MMA, fight somebody who's the best in the world? Mm -hmm. You got zero fights, amateur or professional, to fight, you know, the best in the world. Yeah. So I, I said, you know, it, it sounds good. He's great at MMA, and God bless him. He's a nice young man, and mm -hmm. he deserves to be where he's at with MMA. Now, if it was the other way around, that Floyd had to fight him at MMA, you know, what, what chance does Floyd have? Mm -hmm. you know, Floyd's not an MMA guy, but this guy's not a boxer. The same thing applies, but it's a good it's a good thing. But people want to see it, and they can uh, sell it to the to the, to the public. It'd be good, but uh, it'll be interesting, something interesting to watch. But I remember way way back in the uh, in the 70s, Muhammad Ali when he was champion, he fought a guy mm -hmm. was, uh, in Japan, Japan, right? Yeah, he was a wrestler or something, and it was like a it was like a circus act. That was like an exhibition, though. Like, do you think do you think the commission is gonna have a hard time justifying? Well, what, what I'm afraid of is I don't want nobody getting hurt. Yeah. And me as a referee, I would think safety. I would look at records of a fight. When I have fighters come into the ring, I look at fighter A, fighter B. Before I go into the dress room, I look at their records and just to see how they're doing. And if I see that one is really like a real knockout artist with 15 wins, 15 knockouts, and this guy got eight eight losses and and three wins, no knockouts. Mm -hmm. you know, I, the chances are this guy with all these knockouts, the chances are he's gonna probably end up knocking this guy up, beating him. Mm -hmm. uh, but you try to give him a, a level playing field so they, at the belt when they rank, they both out the starting line. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 I'm concerned about somebody getting hurt, especially somebody who's never fought before. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if they, if, they, uh, if they can do it the right way without nobody getting hurt, great. Yeah. But I know if, if people are in boxing are not gonna be satisfied with a number 50 break box down the record <laughs> against an opponent who has zero wins, amateur or, or professional. That's what I was going to ask you as someone that's been in the sport. Like from a, a business standpoint, I understand why they want to make the fight. There's a lot of money involved. But as someone that's been in the sport as long yeah. as you have, do you, do you I, feel I'm, like I'm, it's I'm disrespectful? I'm afraid for the safety of the fighters. I don't want to see the state or anybody be, you know, give license and get, approve a fight then yeah. be liable. You mm -hmm. know, I, I'm always thinking of safety first. Mm. You know, I just want to see nobody get in trouble by doing something like that. Yeah. That if something goes wrong, they're going to say, what, what, what did we tell you? Yeah. A guy never fought a fight in his life, and you gave him a license to fight the best. You know, that, that's like taking him to a slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. and I, I'm, a, I'm a little concerned about that. Yeah. I, I mean, like I said, I look at fighters, McGregor, I look at him like if he was my son. Mm -hmm. I don't see him get hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, if he has zero wins, hand me to a pro, put him against the best. I'm, I'm gonna have a lot Did of you come back to interview? Yeah. I don't have a lot of concern about that.